So this is a little example of where the high RPMs come into play here. Uh, these are a couple of hardened bolts. Uh, just silly application here. Uh, I need to put these in. Uh, I need to kind of convert these into screws temporarily. We're in the middle of the COVID thing here when I'm shooting this and uh, I can't just run out to the store and buy stuff. Uh, so, I really what I wanted was Allen screws, and I just I don't have the size I need here. Uh, so I had just these old uh, hex bolts, uh, and I, what it, the problem is I need to get it into a recess uh, to mount a piece of hard, hardware. Well, actually, let's see if we can show this here. Uh, get my light on. Uh, I'm trying to mount this on here this is my little rotary table I bought uh, but the way this mounts uh, it goes on with these little recessed bolts here uh, and I need the clearance so you can't close the top down uh, so what I'm gonna do is where I can't get these right off and you know and I want this right away uh, I'm going to cut slots in the top of this. I've already started a couple of passes and uh, then I'll just trim the hex off a little bit so it clears in the recess. Uh, and then I'll be able to just put them in with a screwdriver. It's, it's not ideal, but it'll get me up and running for today. Uh, so, anyways, uh, let's fire this up and we'll do a couple of passes here. Hopefully I can hold this and uh, turn the wheels at the same time. Uh, I'm running uh, about 5,000 RPM on here, and uh, this small stuff is where it really comes in handy with the high RPM. That's only a 2 millimeter end mill on there. Uh, that's a blue nano type, uh, which is good for the hardened steel.
So right now it's uh, about 1.75 millimeter deep. Uh, I think I might hit maybe a couple more, another three passes, bring it to about uh, two and a half uh, millimeter deep. And that should be good enough to get a screwdriver in there nice and tight. Anyways, uh, here's one of them finished, and I'll see if we can get a little better view of it with it out of the machine. Uh, so there's our slot, that's all the way down to the 2.5 millimeter, and that should work fine. I just got to turn the hexes off now on the lathe, and uh, clean up the threads a little bit. I'll just run a chaser over it, and then I'm going to have to sh shorten it just a little bit. Uh, again, I can just do that and lay and lop it off. Uh, I'll probably do that before chasing the threads. And uh, this is that end mill that I was using. It's just, uh, it's two millimeter. This is a blue nano, and you, as you can see, they really are blue. Uh, you can get these pretty reasonable on Banggood. Uh, I'm pretty happy with these. They, they have a couple different varieties of them. Uh, I just picked one and went for it and I've tried a couple different sizes and they cut really well even in the hard stuff uh, so I, I'm not going to complain. Uh, they are a little brittle though. I have a 10 millimeter. Uh, I got it snagged just a little bit a couple times uh, and it, it did ch chip an edge on it but uh, it was my fault. It was not, not a bad product. Uh, just enough to get her in there. So that should work just fine. From the top, come down here. Get it. Just don't want to drop it. And closes down all the way, got plenty of clearance. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll be running a, uh, get the light on here, I'll be running a T-nut, this will thread into a T-nut on the table so I can just mount this on the table and I'll be good to go. So now uh, I've got the uh, screws are all cleaned up at this point to the point that I need. Uh, it, the threads are chased anyways, let's put it that way. Uh, and ready for final assembly. Uh, so we've got a T-nut here. I'm just going to slide that under. Uh, and uh, drop this down. I'm going to move it just a little. I'm doing this left-handed because i got the camera on my right. But Let's see, slide this out a little. This is just for demo. I'm going to reposition it after. That in nice. Yeah. Flip her up. Here's our other one. I already dropped this one in. And as you can see, it's recessed in there a little. Get that snugged up. And should have plenty of room here. Drop that down. Everything sits nice. And she's on there nice and tight. So that's not going to go anywhere now. And uh, ready to start using it. Just position it and use it. So I probably should mention what I was in such a rush to get this set up for, anyways. Uh, so last night uh, I started work on the actual metal Z wheel, uh, the one that goes up in here on the mill, because uh, really it should be made out of metal. Uh, so I turned this down last night 
Uh, is this all ready for dimensions? Uh, I need to thread the inner hole and then let me show the drawing here. Uh, we're going to start doing the fingers here uh, and that's what I need the rotary table for. Uh, the process is new to me, I've never used the rotary table. Uh, also, to, to do this, the, the final on this, I'm probably going to do this with a boring bar rig. Uh, which I, I bought one but I've never used it yet uh, and it's going to be interesting because this will be an in interrupted cut uh, which is going to make it a little more challenging uh, I think what I'm going to do is rough it out with just a regular end mill just to stay a little bit inside the borders and then just kind of do the finish work with the bo boring bar and just take it real easy uh, but we're going to give a go at it 